gets it. Go! Our amazing there's rough winners ahead of the salty sea dogs set sail across lovely lake double dare. The quickest canoeing couple to complete the cruise across the course will land 25 dingy dollars and get control of round one on the crafty show on television. Nicely done. It's family double dare. And now here's the host of family double dare. It's Mark Summers. Where am I? There I am. Hi. <laughs> nice to see you. We were over at Lake Double Dare here on Family Double Dare, and it's the Tournament of Champions, and, and the team in blue dived for that, and, uh, and they rang that bell, and we'll talk to them in a minute. But we always start off to our left. That's where the red team is, and their name is the Keys Conches. Let's say hello to them. <laughs> and, and maybe they can exactly uh, explain what, the, what that title of that team is. And uh, their names uh, one by one are George, Adam, David, and Donna, would you like to explain the Keys Conches for the folks who are not from uh, this part of the country? It's Keys Conks. Oh, Conks. See, they, they told me the wrong thing. Now, tell me, tell me what that is, then. Oh, just a name. Cause just we a name. Well, key, the, the Keys, where we're from, is we seceded from the Union a couple years ago, and uh, we're the Conk Republic. And we declared war against the United Sur States and surrendered the same day. And then we asked for financial aid. Uh, so Monroe County, Florida, the Keys of... Uh, Conk Republic. Did, did I lose something somewhere along the way? <laughs> you, 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 yeah. you did that, huh? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I have nothing to say to that, folks. That is the most peculiar explanation of any team. You have no money just yet. We have a team to my right. They are dressed in blue. They have $25. Say hello to the Pleasant Hill Billies. There they are. <laughs> Maybe they have something that I can understand this time. Say hello to Cliff and Lindsay. And Clint and Laura, Lindsay, you and I have something in common. Do you know that? You have no idea? You ran cross country. You still run cross country? Yeah. How'd you do? Um, well, I got 39th in state in cross country. That's great, because there's a bunch of people out there running. Now, what distances do you run? Um, I, went, I ran the one mile, two mile. Yeah, I used to do that. When I used to run, I think it was a mile and a half in junior high or high school. I forget what it was. And uh, you've got to be in great shape to do that, don't you? <laughs> How often do you run? Do you run every morning? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good. You have $25 over there. Let's talk about the rules here on Family Double Dare. The uh, Keys Conks are going to have to listen to this. I'm going to ask you a question. Don't want to make them angry. Or uh, I'm going to ask you a question, and uh, if you can't answer it, you can dare the other team to uh, answer it for double the dollars. Of course, uh, you can always double dare them back for four times the amount, and then uh, you can either answer that question or take the physical challenge. Peculiar stuff in the air today on Family Double Dare. Let's start off with a $25 question to the Pleasant Hillbillies. Maple syrup made from what type of tree? It's worth 25 or you could dare them. Maple. Imagine that. Yes, $25 at a deal side of the board. We now have 50 in Maple Tree. What city is in the middle of the land of Oz? Could bring up to 75 or you could dare them. Need an answer. Don't want the time run out. Dare. Oh, now worth 50. You could tie this game up. What city is in the middle of the land of Oz? Emerald City. Yes, the Emerald City. Add $50. We have a tie game just that quickly. The Emerald City. Here's question number three. Who is the author of the Pippi Longstocking books? $25 could give you the lead, or you could dare the Pleasant Hillbillies. Dare. Now worth $50. Who's the author of the Pippi Longstocking books? Double dare. Now worth $100. You could be our first physical challenge of the day. Physical uh, challenge. Astrid Lindgren <laughs> on the tip of my tongue. Come on over here. I need two people for a physical challenge. Oh, good. You're going to love this. Yeah, bring that over, Chris. Yeah, that's fine. Bring that over here. We're setting up our own uh, family double dare baking factory, and this will uh, happen right here before your eyes. And as a matter of fact, I would like you to stand right over here. And what do we have for you? Well, we have some cookies. And let's show what those cookies look like. Can we bring those out? Oh, good. They are, uh, well, they don't aren't really cookies in, in reality. Let me show you what's over here. We have a, a cream topping. And as these come through on our conveyor belt, your job is to make sure that cream topping gets on side or in one of those cookies like that, okay? Now, if it misses, you can use your hand and sort of plop it on there. It will start going in this direction. More cookies will come out. Can I have another cookie, please? Thank you so much. Here it comes right now. Oh, good. Thank you. Oh, I dropped it. Oh, thanks. Anyway, you'll get some more of that stuff on there. And you need to make a cookie sandwich like that. Now, 
normally these are referred to as, uh, as Oreos, but we're not allowed to say that anyway. So you take this Oreo-type cookie. It must stay together, and uh, when you think of cookies, I like to think of milk, and you toss it over here in this direction and get it to land in that container, that container of milk. Now you must get one, two, three, four, four containers or four cookies in the container. Now if they separate on the way over there, it doesn't count. They must be a complete sandwich, okay? You have 30 seconds to get four cookies in the container to get that $100. Can they do it? Let's find out. On your mark, get set. Send those cookies down there. You gotta get some cream on them. You gotta keep the cream on there. Okay, put it together. You got a sandwich. Toss it over there. Oh, it didn't land in there. We've gotta get four cookies. And there's one. We need to get another cookie sandwich. There's two. Can they get four to land in there? That's the question. Oh, no, we've only got two with 11 seconds remaining. This one always seems easier, but it isn't that easy. Oh, only two. Come on, you guys. You can pull it off. Here go the cookies. There's three. Can you get the last one in there? Some more family double there. Well, I must admit that I didn't think they were going to do it. With 12 seconds remaining, they needed two more. The last one ended up there just as the buzzer rang, and they now have $100 added to their score, and they have control of this $25 question. In what John Hughes movie do Jim Belushi and Allison Porter play con artists? Would bring it to 175, or you could dare them. Need an answer. Three Fugitives? No, the answer was Curly Sue. Curly Sue, big hit movie not too long ago. No dare at stake, no money changing place. We now have a control situation with the Pleasant Hillbillies. What is the third sign of the Zodiac? Would bring you up to $75, or you could dare them. Third sign of the Zodiac. Dare. Now worth 50. Third sign of the Zodiac would bring you up to 200, or you could double dare them back. Double dare. Okay, $100, you're going to take a physical challenge. Physical challenge. It's Gemini, and we have a $100 physical challenge for two people on the blue team. Worth $100, right over here. Well, you can stand right here. Look what we have coming out here, folks. In fact, we're going to put it here center stage, and I would like you to just have a seat right underneath there. It's perfect. Yeah, right, right on the Indian style. And you join me right over here. Now, there is a new craze going on with these juicers. Do you have one of these juicers at home? No. Well, everybody thinks you should go out and buy one, and we have... Well, these are supposed to be fruits, but they're not really fruits. These are supposed to be oranges, and then we have some bananas. Don't get much juice out of a banana except on Family Double Dare. We have some plums. We have some oranges, and uh, let's pretend these are guavas, okay? So here's what... Do you, you ever had a guava? No. No, I haven't either. I don't even know what a guava is. But when I say go, we're going to take these, and I want you to flip those up there in that bowl over there, and we're going to turn on our processor. Show them what it sounds like when you turn on the processor. Oh, just like that. Okay, now you can turn that off. You'll get as many as you can up there because they have lots of juice in them. And what you want to do is keep your head level facing that direction. Now, you can move your head around any way you want, but that juice is going to come down here. And you want to fill it past the line. If you are past the line with those juices, in 30 seconds, you'll get $100. Otherwise, it's going to the other team. Now, don't tilt your head too far forward or back because that juice will come out. You've got to get it in there. That's half the physical challenge. Good luck to you. On your mark. Get set. Go! Turn on that juicer and get it in there. We're going to make lots of juice. Oh, that's the way to do it. Got to get it right in the middle there. It's worth $100 here on Family Double. And that's the angle that you have to go into. Keep on. Oh, that one bounced out. And that one bounced. Oh, you got to move a little bit quicker than that. It's down to 14 seconds. And that juice is going in there. Got to keep your head level. Come on. Oh, yeah, good shot. Keep on tapping them in there. You can use some of the others. There's some oranges. There's some guavas. There's some grapes. Stop right there. I'll let that one go in there and uh, take a look, ladies and gentlemen. I think it is just below the line, and that means $100 goes over there to the red team. Nice try. Nice try. You've got to keep feeding those, uh, those uh, fruits in there, and uh, that's the way those things become juice. And we now have $250 for the... Oh, well, that sound means it's the end of round one with $250. The Keys Conks have the lead. But you know what? We have $50 over here on the Pleasant Hill Billies team, and uh, we're going to come back with a $50 toss-up. We're going to get really big with the money and uh, figure out what's going on here today on Family Double Edge. Stay with us. It's round two on Family Double Dare. That means all the dollar values will be doubled. And when you hear this sound right here, 
That means the game is over. We are in the middle of the Tournament of Champions looking for the fastest and the smartest teams. And ladies and gentlemen, we will have a grand championship one-hour special on Nickelodeon. And the winner will take home this beautiful trophy. Look at that. Is this gorgeous? Slime. There's the family, the dueling Ds. And down here it says Nickelodeon. Family Double Dare Champions 1993. Somebody's going to take out maybe one of these families today. Here's what we're going to do. Go for a $50 toss-up. We have some eggs up here, a little incubator full of these eggs. And what do we have, ladies and gentlemen? Real live human chickens. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And they have their tails on over here. <laughs> well, so to speak. And they have their chicky hats on. And they have uh, little things up there to break those balloons. Now, you try to fill that container past the line as the other team does. First team to do that gets $50 control of round, <laughs> round two. He likes this tail. On your mark. Get set! Go! You break those balloons and uh, fill that container past the line. As soon as you do that, you're going to get $50 and control of round two. Keep on going. Oh, the red team did it. You can stop right there. The red team did it. Stop right there at $50. Let's move over here and play some more family double there. Nice try. Nice try. Blue team was sort of picking away there, but it didn't happen for them as quickly as the red team. So now the red team has $300. We have $50 for the Pleasant Hillbillies, but keep in mind in this round it's $50, then $100, it's $200 on a double dare. Things often switch in round two, so let's carry on with the Keys Conks and this $50 question. In the song, Oh Susanna, what state is the man from? Bring it to $350, or you could dare them. Alabama. Yeah, I came from Alabama with the banjo on my knee. Oh Susanna, won't you cry for me? Tell me the state bird of Utah. Bring it up to $400. Dare. Now worth $100. You need to get back in this game. What's the state bird of Utah? Double dare. Now worth $200. You're going to take a physical challenge. Physical challenge. This is so peculiar. It's the seagull. Like there's a, a big ocean near there, huh? Yeah. Come on down. I need all four of you. All four of you. Right over here. Everybody. Everybody. Come on. All four of you. Join me down over here. Now tell me, when these people were really tiny, who fed the baby? Somebody must have fed the baby. You did, sir? Well, you both did. Okay, I, you know what? I'd like you to get up in that big high chair. We have a great... And you folks go over there and see Chris for a second, because you go over there as well, because we're going to put on the pacifier, and we're going to give you some goggles, and we're going to put on a little bonnet and a little bib. And why? Well, come over here. Let me show you why. We have some baby food, ladies and gentlemen. We have some peas. Oh, strained peas. Always my favorite. And what do we have over here? Well, this is some uh, strained... Uh, well, maybe carrots. Yeah, that's what these are, strained carrots, okay? And, of course, ladies and gentlemen, you got to feed the baby. You need a baby bottle. So when I say go, your job will be to come over here and squeeze this baby bottle like that, okay? That's your job. And your job will be to take this food and fling it in that direction. And you'll be doing the same thing with these shovels. Now, you must stay behind this line. You must stay behind this line. Now, why do you want to fling this food back at the baby? I'll tell you why. First of all, the baby's always flinging food at you, and you hate that, so you get even with them. How do you do it? Well, up here, can you just give me a quick goo-goo? Goo-goo. Oh, very nice, sir. And we have some things that you must knock off. Well, we have a little bitty pail. And we have, an oh, it already came up. And another little bitty pail. Oops, there you go. Thank you. And we have a bow, a little toy bow, okay? So here's how you knock them down. You take those shovels of food, and you start heaving it in this direction, okay? And you take that bottle of uh, milk-like type substance, and you can aim it in that direction. Now, you must keep your hands up there on the, uh, on the uh, arms. You cannot use your hands. And if all three of those are knocked off the baby chair, 30 seconds or less, you become $200 richer. Good luck. On your mark. Get set. Go! Heave it over there. Come on, heave that food over there. Keep on doing it. And sooner or later, you may knock those off. Robin is not in a great situation. She's getting all that food hit off on her. Come on, heave that. Heave that stuff. Come on, folks. Throw that food at the baby. We're down to 15 seconds, and I don't see any of those things off. Squeeze that bottle. There's one. There's one. Keep on going. We need two more. Squeeze on the bottom. Keep on going. We have to get... is knocked off. We're going to put $200 over here on the blue side. They have $250. We're going to get this man out of this high chair. You go up on over there, and uh, we're going to be careful there. We're going to make sure that he comes down safe and sound. It doesn't look uh, like they did it, folks, and it's a pretty difficult physical challenge. They knocked one off. Two were remaining. We now have $250 over here to the Pleasant Hillbillies. They're right back in this game, and they have this $50 question. Glaucoma is a disease that directly affects 
what body part? Bring you up to 300. Tighten this thing up. Need an answer. The eye. The eye is correct. Add $50. Yeah. You now have 300. This question here could tie the game. For a tie, the Rock of Gibraltar is on the southern coast of which country? Or you could dare them. Don't waste too much time. Don't give up control. Dare. Now worth 100. The Rock of Gibraltar is on the southern coast of which country? Spain. Is right. Add $100. Spain, you now have 450 Nicely done. And now, for an additional $50, according to legend, Sir Gawain was nephew to what king? Bring it to 500 or you could dare them. King Arthur. Is right again. You do have $500 and a $200 lead right now. Peter Falk has been starring as what TV detective who wears a rumpled trench coat, drives a beat-up old car, and has no first name? Worth 50, bring it to 550, or you could dare them. Columbo. Columbo is right. One more time, 550 to 300. And uh, what seemed like the blue team uh, making their move has uh, switched back to the red team. If you eat foie gras, what are you really eating? Is it A, the boiled heart of a calf? Or is it B, the enlarged liver of a goose? Or is it C, the shrunken head of a pygmy? Foie gras. What are you eating, or you could dare them? Dare. Now worth 100. If you eat foie gras, are you eating the boiled heart of a calf, the enlarged liver of a goose, the shrunken head of a pygmy, or are you going to double dare them back? It's now worth 100. Double dare. Now worth 200. Ooh, it's the enlarged liver of a goose, and that sound means it's the end of the game. And with $550, the Keys Kongs have won today's game of Family yeah. Double Dare. Congratulations. I really get. I guess that the uh, turning point was when you answered Spain for the Rock of Gibraltar. Uh, that could have turned the game around, but you do have $550. That money is yours to share equally, we hope, and you'll get a trip to the Double Air Obstacle Course. Pleasant Hill Billies, you've made a great comeback there. It came down to that one question. If you would have gotten control, it would have worked for you. You do get $300 to split. And, Doc, I do think we have lovely parting gifts for them, don't we? Yes, we do. Sketchers are fun shoes. Sneakers, boots, sandals, and shoes with lights in them called. S lights. Sketchers are comfortable and fun to wear. Sketchers, it's the S. Hush puppies, the most comfortable shoes in the whole wide world. Come in waterproof, stain resistant suede. That looks great, even after a couple of puddles. The obstacle course is next on Family Double Dare. We're at the Family Double Dare Obstacle Course. We have a few seconds. Who wants to do something crazy with me? Really crazy. Is there anybody over there? Just, just gentlemen up here. Come on the way down, sir. Gentlemen on the top. In the pink. No, in the pink. You come down here, sir. Get down here as quickly as you possibly can. Here's my challenge to you. Come over here. We're at Lake Double Dare, okay? Take off your shoes and socks. I'll have a race with you. I'm not going to take off my shoes and socks. I'm going in. I'm going to do it just this way. I'll race you to the other side. If you beat me, I'll give you a prize. If not, I'll probably still... Oh, is that cold? Oh! Come on in. Come on in. Okay, when I say go, we go over there and get to the other side. On your mark, get set, go. <laughs> nice job. What's your name? Clint. Where are you from, Clint? Clinton, no, Missouri. From Missouri. We've got a Family Double Dare t-shirt, and you'll go across over there, you'll grab that flag, and uh, what will they win? It's the oh. singing machine, the portable home entertainment system that makes you the entertainment. Perform and record your favorite hits with complete musical backup by the singing machine cassette arrangement. It's the singing machine. We'll get one that fits, but we have a Family Double Dare t-shirt. And a round of applause for Clint for helping us out there. Thank you, sir. It's a... Uh, way to go. Oh, man. That is cold water. Over here, we have in one ear, and that's the ear you'll go in. Now, the other opening is not quite as uh, big as this one. It'll be more difficult to come out of. You grab that flag, and you pass it, and here's the prize. Bushnell's high-tech astronomical telescope. Sleek and contemporary. Designed to appeal to young and mature viewers alike. Explore the world beyond. And it's only from Bushnell. That water is cold, let me tell you. You don't have to go over there, do you? No, thank goodness. Well, I'll tell you, at the end, if you win, we'll all go in there and celebrate together. Is that okay. good? Okay, Something to look I'll forward to. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to knock these pins down. How? By sending this ball over here. Join me. Because there may be a flag here. There may be a flag here. There may be a flag here. I don't know where it is, but say, Doc, if we get it, tell us what we'll win. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> we'll find out, Doc. Let's hear. Oh, it's, it's the BCA Glacier Mountain Bike, and it's tons of off-road fun. With 12 speeds and big, fat tires, the BCA Glacier is one mean mountain machine. The BCA Glacier.
Sir, I'm wet already. I'm just going to demonstrate. It's number four. It's called the Gat Geyser. Here's what you do. You grab this flag over here, you pull it down, and then you take the old up pull all the way down over there. And uh, if you do that successfully, uh, you will win this. Right, Doc? Tell him. Right, Mark. From East Pack, the leader of the pack. A set of bags for work, school, play, and travel. East Pack bags are stylish. Tough. And they're built to last, and they're only from the fine folks in East Pack. Five is soda jerk. What you do is you press on this pedal or this one or this one, and sooner or later a flag will come down. And when that flag comes down, you grab it, you pass it, and here's the prize. The new Konica Z UP80 is equipped with a power zoom lens that lets you shift from wide angle to telephoto lens in a snap and features a new remote control system. And it's only from Konica. I think this is the most difficult one on the course today. This is a very winnable course. You get up there as quickly as you can. You go into the ant farm. Now, once you get over here, come over. This is where the adults have the hard time. They've got to get on their backs and crawl up over here and reach up and grab that flag. Now, your partner will be over there waiting patiently. And if you are very patient, you can win this. Smith Corona WP-1100 intelligently quiet word processor. Features a 23,000 character memory, two-line LCD display, and a built-in spell right. 75,000 word electronic dictionary. Here comes Pipeline. It smells good, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. That is real chocolate. That is real chocolate. And on the way through, don't stop and eat. No, we don't want you to do that. We want you to go through this pipe. And then we want you to go through this pipe. And over here, this is where we'd like you to end up with about, oh, 10 or 12 seconds remaining. You reach for that flag. You pass it and say, Doc, tell him what the win. <laughs> she did it again. Say it. Say, Doc, tell him what the oh, win. Oh, Doc, tell him what the win. Oh, see, I knew she could do it. No problem. <laughs> GE's Portable Home Theater. It's a nine-inch cable-ready stereo TV with tape recorder, AM, FM radio, detachable speakers, and a remote control. Wait for your college dorm or summer home from GE. I guess she's concentrating. Is that it? That's what it is. Is she always this focused at home? Always. Always. Huh? Well, that's good. That's better to be that way. Well, we have uh, number eight here. This is the peanut butter and bologna sandwich. There's probably a flag here, but if not, you can lift this up. There may be a flag under there, but as soon as you find it, and if you have it in your hand, in 60 seconds or less, we have a fabulous grand prize. Tell them, Doc. Oh, yeah, they'll be going to Club Med in Sandpiper, Florida. Club Med has family resorts where kids learn to water ski or fly a trapeze, and parents join in or do their own thing. This year, take home a Club Med vacation in Sandpiper, Florida. You're going to Club Med. Here's the pretty shot, and we're going to come back here live at Lake Double Dare, ready to send this man off. Hopefully, they're going to win this with 60 seconds or less. Get it in a 59 and a half, and I'll be thrilled. On your mark, get set, go! All the way across. Come on, go across. He's giving up, and he's going across that way. That is legal. We let them do that. Number two is in one ear, and out the other. There is the out part, and here comes knocking those pins over. Find it. Where is the flag? Where is the flag? There it is. Number four is 43 seconds. They have a good shot at this one today, folks. Oh, that was record time. Now we're over the up to the number five already. There it is, right over there. 35 seconds. We're already at up to the number six. This could be some record if they can keep this pace up. It is a torrid pace today on the family double their obstacle course. Number seven is pipeline, and that is a difficult one. We're down to 23 seconds. And here they go, folks, with 20. They're at obstacle number seven. And it is treacherous getting through this. I must say it does slow you down. Come on, let's go on through. Number eight is the peanut butter and bologna sandwich. Here comes the exchange with nine seconds remaining. There it is. Let's find it over here. Can we find that flag? Here's it here with three seconds remaining. Where is it? They got it! They got it! All right! Listen closely. Doc, tell them what they want. Come on over here. They got it all. The singing machine, the telescope, the bikes, the bags, the camera, the computer, the home theater, and a Club Med vacation. You got it all. And I said if you won, we'll celebrate. Let's go in here. We'll see you next time on Family Double Dare. was produced before a live audience in Nickelodeon Studios, Universal Studios, Orlando, Florida.